Hey everybody, this is Wileen Benson. Um, I want to teach you just a little principle today about looking at the bigger picture, creating the bigger picture. And I'm going to do that by drawing a picture for you. Um, this picture, let me just double check and make sure that that is in view that you can see. Looks good. Um, this picture is a picture of this wonderful mountain cabin and you have this nice little easy chair and we've got this fireplace let's get some different colors in here with a wonderful fire blazing and maybe we've got a uh, bookcase over here that has all these beautiful um, books with pictures of mountain scenes and all the classics, all the uh, just cozy mysteries and things like that. And then we have a picture over here on the wall that is um, a picture of got some evergreen trees and maybe a mountain in the distance and we've got like a stream flowing through uh, this uh, the picture maybe a couple more a couple more evergreen trees here and we've got this awesome scene um, beautiful scene maybe even um, let's say this is a log cabin and so you've got these logs that are going across your wall here and it's just super cozy super awesome and and just we love it and then let's just say that at some point in your life you're like you know what i loved having a mountain cabin and at um, at some point in your life you're like you know what i think it's time to change i want to change some things in my life and so um i i decide that i want to change what I'm looking at, what my life looks like. And so instead of this mountain scene on the wall, I'm going to change because I want to see my life differently. I want to see things different in my life. I'm going to change this mountain scene to a beach scene. And I'm going to put, um, have this picture that has some water and got some sand here and then we have this beautiful sunrise or sunset depending on if you're on the west or east coast or wherever you are um, beautiful uh, beach scene and you sit down in your cozy easy chair and you're like oh I'm just so happy that I can now look at my life and it's different. I've got some change in my life. I've leveled up. I've done something different. I've made some changes. Feels so good. And then you take your eyes off of the picture and you start panning around at the rest of the scene and you're like, wait, I'm still in a mountain cabin. What the heck? I thought I was changing my life. But the problem is that we're only changing the, the small view. So what we need to do is to expand and look beyond just this one little tiny thing that we want to change. We actually have to create a different, bigger picture. So we have at this point, we have three choices. I can either leave it like it is. I can have this beautiful scene of the sunset and be sitting in a mountain cabin. And every time I look at that, beautiful scene of the, the beach with the sunset, I can feel discomfort, I can feel conflict, I can be like, ugh, I wish I was there. So I could definitely do that, I could choose to do that. Or I could choose to get rid of this picture and I could put the picture back that has the evergreen trees and the mountain and the cool water coming through and I could say, okay, I'm just gonna be happy with the life that I have and I'm gonna make sure that all of it matches up and that everything flows and it's it, and I'm just gonna enjoy and, and be content with the life that I have and not change, all right? So that's definitely a choice. The other choice, which is um, what I recommend if you are truly wanting to change your life, is to change the scene around you. 
to change the way, not just that you look at life, but change your life, change your surroundings, change your environment, change who you are and who you want to be to who you want to become. So instead of that cozy mountain scene, we're going to put a great big picture window here and outside we've got a deck and beyond the deck we've got either a lake or the ocean or something that we can see out here that reminds us of of um, you know this scene that's in the in the picture so we'll put some water and then um, on the deck, okay, so here's the deck. And on the deck, let's put this um, comfy lounge chair. Instead of the, the cozy recliner over here, we've got this comfy or cozy lounge chair where you can sit out on your deck and you can look out at the ocean, you can smell the sea breeze, you can enjoy the freshness and, and the sunrise. Let's even put the sun in here. So we've got the sunrise coming up and we can sit out there and enjoy that sunrise coming out over the ocean. And then maybe over here in the corner, instead of that cozy armchair, you've got a table that has on it a lamp that is made out of one of those, I should have looked it up, I don't know what they're called, one of those things, <laughs> like three legs, and it's something that people use on ships, I think, to look at the stars or to, to read maps or something, I don't know what they're called, sextant or something, <laughs> that's probably not it. Anyway, something made out of that that looks nautical, and then um, maybe a conch shell on the side table that you've picked up out on the beach when you're out beach combing. And instead of this being logs, it's now shiplap, that super popular whitewashed, uh, you know, boards that people put in their homes now. And then instead of having mountain scenes and the classics and, you know, all the things in the bookcase, you've got, um, you have pictures of beaches from around the world. And maybe you have, like a little jar of sand here that you collected when you went to Costa Rica to the beach there. So then when you look at the picture, what you have decided that you want to create your life, and then you look around you, it all matches up and it's all perfect. There's no conflict. There's no like, oh, I wish things were different. And, um, and so you've actually created the scene around you. Now you might think, well, yeah, but it's much easier and much cheaper. I can just change a picture out or put a picture up on my vision board or something that doesn't cost very much money, but to actually get a beach house or something like that. You're thinking way too much if you're believing that because um, just a couple of days ago, what gave me the inspiration to create this video for you is um, just a couple of days ago, I am in this stage of wanting to do some remodeling in my house. And one of the things that I wanna do is I want to put the door to my office so that it goes in just to the right. As soon as you walk in the front door, you just turn to the right and it, you go into my office. So I want to change the orientation of the door because right now you have to go straight, turn right, and then turn right again to get into my office. And when I have clients come over, I'd like them to be able to just turn right and go straight into my office. So two days ago, I haven't, you know, made that choice to actually go forward with changing that door yet. But two days ago, I thought I can change the way that my office looks based on there already being a door there. So even though the door is not quite there yet, I have started to change the, the look of my office based on the door being there. And I know that's just one step towards the whole picture being changed. So yesterday I actually turned my desk 90 degrees from being, you know, it was uh, with my back to the window and facing the door. And now I've actually turned it so it's facing the new door that's going to be there and my back is to a wall. So there are some things that we can do, you know, it doesn't cost very much to pick up a shell off of uh, a beach or grab some sand off of a beach when you're on vacation next time. 
um, buy, you know, take a snapshot and just hang it up on your wall or buy a, a picture on sale somewhere at, at a home decor store. Um, you could get a lounge chair that you right now is just sitting out on your back deck in your mountain, mountain cabin, but, um, but you put it out on the back deck and even though it's not overlooking uh, an ocean scene yet, you have started to create the feeling of this new picture that you're creating. So it might be step by step, but eventually you want to get there. The, the biggest thing is to make sure that you don't have a vision board, that you're focusing on something and that everything else in your life is still looking like something different. So the, the real big lesson here is to, yes, dream, choose some new things that you want to create in your life and then bit by bit gradually begin to change everything in your life to match up to that. Thanks for joining me today.